Ladies and gentlemen, would you wait five hours to get some OP06 booster boxes at retail pricing? Because that's what I did. <laughs> it was not worth it unless we pull something amazing today. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully y'all are having an absolutely wonderful, beautiful, and an amazing day. Now... Would you wait for five or six hours to get yourself some One Piece booster boxes at retail MSRP? So in total, these two boxes were $233 with tax, give or take. But got these on release day, went to the Bandai store in Texas, and I got to tell you, I don't think One Piece has been, has ever been this hyped before. I don't think OPO5 was this hyped either, because like, if I remember correctly, you could still walk in later, later in the nighttime and still get OP05 boxes on release day at the band. I sort of, if I'm not mistaken, I, I just remember like there were still boxes, right? OP06, the store opened at like 11 a.m. Apparently, there were people waiting until 9 a.m., 6 a.m., crazy amounts. I genuinely don't know. But all I do know is that when I went in there at 11.30, I was number 801. <laughs> <laughs> out of the queue so there were 800 people in front of me waiting to buy one booster box per person or one double pack per person or one star deck per person now at 801 they sold out a double pack so they sold out a double packs at around 600 if i think if i think that correctly um but they had up to like 1200 booster boxes so they sold out 1,200, so about 1,200 people came to get a box, which if you think about it, is absolutely insane. So I want to say this, the event itself, the the event, the people there, huge, huge shout out to y'all. Y'all stuck around to get your boxes. I'm not going to lie to you, there were some people who like didn't come get their boxes, so they, they had some left over, um, which is why I think 1,200 people, numbers above, it was like first come first up there. Uh, but the people that waited your absolute troopers congratulations hopefully pulled some absolutely amazing stuff to the wonderful people that noticed me and i said hi and was able to meet you guys i appreciate every single one of you uh truly did make my day especially when it was also waiting for five hours there <laughs> was so long oh my god Well, ladies and gentlemen, we came here and there's still like, we came out like 11.30, it's 1.30, and they're at number 320. So we're number 800, so I'm just gonna go do some other stuff and come back. So I got some bubble tea, we're gonna get some other stuff, and then we'll be back, hopefully later, to get our boxes, if they have any at that time. Two hours later. Four, five hours. Five hours. 800 plus people. I got my boxes. It took around five hours. Didn't wait the whole time. But it's all going to be worth it. It's all going to be worth it. If we can pull a manga rare Zoro at the end of the day. <laughs> or a Yamato alt art leader. Those are the two cards I really want. And honestly, though, the real talk, I do need play sets of the Sanji and Zoro secret rares. Because I, I actually played with the Sanji Zoro alt art no leader cards and i'm not gonna lie to you it's really fun dude it's really really fun and i want to use those to synchronize the deck so it's gonna be super important to get them but i'm opening both boxes here ladies and gentlemen the, the set's fun i know you want to open packs but there's nothing like scalpable in the set other than manga zoro guys there really isn't so and like i said before you're not gonna pull it like what are the chances i pull this card today i promise you zero to none zero to none dude zero to none but this card might be really interesting in the Zoro Sanji deck. <laughs> it might be really interesting. I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay, keep going. Come on. Dosen. I'm going to organize my cards here as well. So organizing bulk. Um, so we'll see, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see. I'm going to organize all my bulk here as well. Okay, Zio. Meteor Strike of Love. Jigoro of the Wind. Blue Dragon Seal Water Stream. Kumasi! Suru when she's a lot younger. And Vin Smoke Niji. Raju... The leader Raju is very interesting, dude. It basically, you summon all five of the people at once if you have, like, Judge. Very interesting card. Very, very interesting card. And a very, very interesting concept. I played against one. They had all of their Vin Smokes on the field, and I still beat them. It's, it's okay. 
But I don't know if it's like gonna be meta. It's just very, I'm gonna say gimmicky, but it's kind of gimmicky. And I talked to someone, they're like, yo, DK, I love your videos. I love how you're not really good at playing the game and you still enjoy playing it. I'm like, thanks, man. Emotional damage. <laughs> but let's keep going. Let's keep going, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can pull anything really fancy here. Some fancy schmancy pantsy things here. Come on. Borsalino, Absalom, and our first SR. Raju SR. I think this is the first time we pulled Raju, to be honest with you. So once again, I'm not going to say it's gimmicky. It's a bit gimmicky with the way that they use the meta for her. Um, and the leader card for all the Vin Smokes. But it, it's okay. I think it's kind of worth it. The set itself, I think with the Vin Smokes, like I said before... It's a fun concept, and once you get all of them on the board, it's cool. But I don't know, dude. I played Red Purple Luffy against it, and I think that's one that's the one deck, Raiju, that I haven't had a problem beating so far. And that's an OP05 deck. My OP, my RP Luffy deck hasn't been updated yet. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all let me know. If you're playing Raiju, let me know how it's going. I'm very curious. So far, I haven't had problems dealing with Raiju, but I, that, I just could be lucky. I just could be lucky. Okay. Ah. Brook and Black Bug. But, dude, look at the quality control here. I've never seen such off-center cards for One Piece in, a, in a, quite a while. That's that's disgusting, dude. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I have seen some people open up booster boxes with just one secret rare and just one alt art. Like, they pulled a secret rare Sanji and a Vin Smoke Judge alt art. That is some boxes you can get here, ladies and gentlemen. So this is not, I repeat... A scalpable set. Don't do it to yourself. Wait. Just wait. Just wait. You got this. You got... Th oh, or buy the cards online. Buy the cards online. Trust me. OP06 is fun to play. You can buy the cards online. You're going to still have super fun with it. And if you wanted to, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to run some tournaments soon. And just, just get the sets there. And we can just, just have a good time. You know what I mean? Just have a great time playing some One Piece. One Piece! Sorry. Sorry about that. Here we go. Let's keep going, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't pulled our secret rare or alt art yet. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. You, we could basically be pulling absolute dookie sauce here. Just like I just mentioned. It's very, very possible. Here's to hoping we don't pull dookie sauce. Come on. Cut. I see some shine. I see some shine. I don't know if it's going to be a good shine, but it could be a great shine. We just never know. We just never know. As long as it's something amazing. Luffy? You know what? I need Morias. I don't think I have a lot of Morias. I genuinely think I have like one. Maybe none. I don't even know, dude. We're gonna do it like we do it on Discovery Channel. You and me, baby. Something, something, something. You are my special. No, 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 no. Gion, Blue Dragon Seal Water Stream, and oh, Blue, 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 just a Sanji secret. Oh, at least we got an alt art. At least we got an alternate art card, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about here. That's what I'm talking about. We pulled a Kami. Dreams do come true. Kami. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I gotta read the. I gotta read her ability. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I, I gotta read her ability. Give me a second. Okay. Um, on play, look at four cards on top of your deck. Reveal to one Fishman or Merfolk type card. Other than Kami, add to your hand and place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. So this is not really a card I can use for my decks, unfortunately. So that's that's fine. I'm not salty. I'm not salty at all. I'm not salty that Kami is the best card we pulled here. Kami is super, super important to the One Piece TCG series, clearly. If you're playing Hody Jones, which I don't want to play. But it seems like the universe is really pulling me towards playing Hody Jones. And I'm not appreciating it. I'm not appreciating it. We pulled Hody Jones, the alt art leader. We pulled the Hody Jones alt art card. And now we've pulled the Kami alt art card. I just, I just rage you for the win. Rage you for the win. I just, I just, I don't like what they're pushing me towards. You know what I mean? Tempted to play a Hody Jones now, though. Real talk. Just to see, just to make Hody great again, even though he's never been great. But making Hody great again on the DK Cards Pirates channel. Can we do that? No more trolling. No more joking. We're gonna make Hody great. We're gonna make Hody amazing. I did need this. Like I said, poorly, gentlemen, I needed this. I really did. So I do need three more of these. 
because I think the way that this card and Sanji works, they, they work perfectly in synchronization with each other, which makes it a very deadly combination. But like I said before, if you summon this card by itself, there's a good chance it's going to be knocked out next turn anyway. But basically, one attacking, once per turn, you may rest one Dawn in your area, set this card as active. So he can attack twice, basically. And activate main once per turn if you rest the specified number of Dawn cards in your cost here, set this card as active. NANI? Two hours later. I'm a pro player, okay? I need it dumb dumb top. I need it like dumb dumb style. Or else I just don't get it. He, had, he you rest the dawn, he attacks, and you rest the two more dawns, he he can be back as active, so he can attack three times. Is that what's going on? You can rest three dawn. Basically, and have him attack three times. One, two, and three. That just doesn't okay, Perona. There we go. Perona's important. Perona's important. So basically the dude can attack three times. What? What? But still, I think I think OP06 is going to be the first set in One Piece that I'm going to open a lot less of compared to previous sets. I've always opened like at least six booster boxes of a set before. I think 03 is the set that I opened the least amount of. Um, but 06, the problem is like this is kind of short printed. There's not that many like, you know, opportunities to get these cards out there. And they're too expensive right now because the hype for One Piece is crazy but people don't realize people who i guess people who maybe who's scalping it or trying to buy it for reselling is just there's not that many high value cards in this opio 6 set the highest one other than zoro is probably just like the alt art leaders cards which was kind of just standard but that's not worth buying a box of for 200 bucks for you know so i don't know dude i don't know let me know down in the comments ladies and gentlemen what y'all your, your thoughts are on this situation um i said it earlier on in the year that i think i thought that opio 6 was going to be the set where everything kind of goes back to normal in terms of pricing um just because like there's like logically speaking i just didn't think that there was anything that would push people to spend crazy amounts of money on this set just because like i said before there's nothing to really chase chase the other set opio 5 you can get five booster box you can get five alternate arts like three manga rares oda signed right and it's just an absolutely insane set this set's just a basic set you can only get manga zoro and then from there treasure rare nami which huge miss in my opinion um and then of course uh okay aramaki i do need aramaki as well that's a huge win and then of course you can get like the alt leader cards which are 100 to 200 bucks but they always like kind of normally settle under 100 once people start opening more packs and everything and try to sell it so i don't know bro let, let me know down in the comments ladies and gentlemen what your thoughts are obviously it does ruin the pack opening experience for people who can't get boxes so that's very unfortunate but i really do hope that um with OPO6 that people are at least able to get play sets of cards, play the decks they want to play. Because I think this is going to be a very fun set to play and utilize for the meta. Um, adding new leaders, like I said, Moria seems to be the new up-and-coming guy. Yamato's disgusting Onami-Yamato combo, absolutely gross. Just really just... Oh my god! <laughs> no way! Well, that shut me up quick. <laughs> Dude, no way. I got my first SP. Oh my god. Oh god, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, three hit box. We got our first SP. That is a Borsalino SP. That is absolutely insane. That is absolutely insane. Um, we did finally get uh, an SP from OP06. and only took two boxes from us, ladies and gentlemen. That's not too bad. I, I don't think, I don't know what the hit rates are for booster cases. But I, I don't know if it's like, like, I think I got two SPs in the case of OP05 last time. I don't know if that's the same thing that can happen in OP06. But as I was saying, a lot of new meta cards, a lot of new leader cards that are fun to play and mess around with. I, like I said before, I just, ladies and gentlemen, just be patient. Wait, get the cards you need for decks. And if you want to open some, just do your best to find the best you can. Because once again, okay, Bin Smoke Judge. Not bad. I think it was the first time I pulled that card. Um, I think you can do it. I think we can do it. We be patient. We play together. And if anything, I'm thinking even on the Discord, we might just run Sim games, right? Because if people are having a hard time getting cards, uh, Sim games, that's fine. As long as we have like a verifiable cards there, no one runs like OP07 decks. It should still be fine and good to go. So let's keep going, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost done. We have three packs of OP06 left. Um, what's okay, Holy Jones? That's wonderful. That's so good. So good. This is booster box number two, ladies and gentlemen. Can we pull anything good? Our last box was pretty good. The last box was pretty flippin' dippin' good, if I do say so myself. Can this box be better? We don't know. We don't know. We do not know! <laughs> <laughs> so
So I have two secret rare Zoros now, which is not bad. I think I just need two more if I do need to run a full play set now. So that's not bad. That's not bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good. We're doing this. We're doing it. We're doing it good. We're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on going. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be grand. Ryuma and nothing to... You know what? I can read this ability, though. Trash, one card, one hands. Interesting. That is a toxic card. I don't... Um, but yeah, always also, if you have a manga Zoro, hit me up, ladies and gentlemen, so that we can make a deal. I'll make a deal with you if you pull a manga Zoro. Hit me up on Discord or IG. Am, am I playing? Yes. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. There's something in here. I think it's an SR, potentially. But we shall see. We shall see. SR for the win. I don't know what SR I need. I actually need a lot of SRs. There's only three booster boxes, ladies and gentlemen. So I still need quite a lot for like play sets and stuff. But yeah, okay, sure, yeah. I'm, I don't play any like film type cards in my deck. Maybe I gotta try to see if I can make an Uta deck. I generally don't know. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep on going. And see if we can pull another amazing alternate art card, or SP card, or leader card, or not a leader card. What is this going to be? This is going to be an alt art. Is this Zap? There's no Zap in there. <laughs> okay, we legitimately pulled i think what i'm thinking is probably one of the highest value alt arts in this set just because it's nami and she's actually very playable and disgusting but hey we pulled onami alternate art card not bad secret rare zoro and onami alternate art ladies and gentlemen so good boxes in my opinion i got really good boxes this time not bad at all i wish i could pull an alternate leader card um that's not hody jones but you know you know, oh something's in here something's in here Something's in here. I saw some changes there. I don't know. The color was weird. Color was weird. Let's decide. But we got another Moria. Not bad. Moria is important. Once again, if I do want to play Moria, at least I have two now. Or three. Like I said before, I don't remember what my other booster box had in terms of hits. It's just up to me to check. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Alt Art Leader is not in here. That's okay. Alt Art Leader is not in here. That's okay. Can we pull something amazing, ladies and gentlemen? Something so good that this is going to be so amazing. Another Nami. You know what the thing is now? I guarantee you, I do have a full play set of Onamis now. So if I wanted to play Yamato Leader, I could technically make a Yamato deck. Potentially. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what other cards Yamato runs. I haven't actually made a deck for Yamato yet. I actually haven't made any Wolpio 6 decks, so I'm pretty behind, bro. I'm pretty behind. The only decks I have, which, you know, are for the memes and to be toxic, are NL <laughs> and Sakazuki. But they're just there. I, they have them, like, pre-made, pre-set there. Um, so, yeah, I definitely need to make sure something's in here. Um, Alter Leader? Alter Leader card? Alter Leader card? It's all black, though, so... Okay. Ah... <sighs> Only if we can pull an alt art leader, Moria or a Yamato or something amazing. And this is an SR Aramaki. Not bad. I do need more Aramakis. He's actually a very strong card. And if you like lose a Dawn or something, he gains, he, he becomes 11,000 power and he becomes an 11,000 power blocker. He can block basically anything. It's disgusting. At first I was like, this is a stupid card, but after playing against it, I'm like, you know what? I get it. I get it. This is a toxic card, not a stupid card. And nothing crazy there, but that's okay. But the Onami alternate art and the Zoro secret rare. Can we get anything more, ladies and gentlemen? Can we ask for anything more? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, no, no, no. That, okay, that Brook card, I also don't like it because I got dusted by it. I basically played Magellan. And that Brook doesn't knock out Magellan. It just puts Magellan in the trash. So it doesn't activate its knockout effect of minus two Dawn if it goes, gets knocked out. Which, once again, I think is trash and it's not fair. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm not salty about it. I'm not salty about that match. I still remember. It's okay. It's okay. Charlotte Pudding and, ladies and gentlemen, we got another alt art. Another alt art. <laughs> no! 
no way! No way! <laughs> Dude, oh my god. We pulled two SPs in our booster boxes. That is insane. That is insane. So that means, I think what that means is we got the two SP hits in a case. So if there's a case of 12, two boxes, I think out of the 12 will have SPs and we've gotten two. So I think that means that we got both SP hits from the booster box. It, like I said before, for OP05, if you pulled an SP, you also had like an alt art leader in there. I think they've changed that to make it more fair. So now there's like, I'm, I'm guessing now, but I think what it is, it's like there's two boxes in a case with SPs, four boxes in a case with alt art leaders. And then from there it's whatever. Um, but that's kind of what the case, I think what the case hits look like. So that means that out of the two, I got pretty lucky and I got the two booster boxes that had both SPs in them, which is actually pretty insane. But once again, that's for, for SPs in general, I did collect all the SPs for OP05, but that's because it's OP05. I don't, I don't know how far I'm gonna get with OP06 in terms of collection purposes here. Um, I might try to get a full, a full set for all the SPs and alternate leaders, but I'm pretty far behind. And, and the case is, the case I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen, is that I have one alternate leader, Hody Jones, and I, that's basically like the cheapest one. So it's, I'm really behind, bro. And of course, Manga Zoro, which. You know, if you know, as I'm sure you do, you know, it's, yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But I have seen some people with cases that got Manga Zoro. So, hey, you never know, bro. You never know, bro. Um, But yeah, let's keep going, Lidjone. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. Perona, dude, I swear that is like the first Perona I've pulled all day. And she's pretty important. So, I don't know. I think that that's, um... I, I think that I got pretty unlucky in terms of pulling SPs here or SRs here for Perona or Moria decks other than the two Moria SRs I pulled um, and a Hiori. Okay, so I do need I think I need two of those Hiori's as well uh, to create a competitive deck for Yamato if I'm not mistaken. Once again, it's tough to create a full on deck from just three booster boxes. You'll need more from other sets as well. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to sift through all the cards I pulled today to see what the actual hits are. And to see what the general consensus looks like to determine what I can make with what I have. And then, of course, I can just kind of calculate what I can buy after that as well. Right, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of all the big hits we did pull from the two booster boxes of OP06, we got a Zoro Secret Rare, Kami Alternate Art, Zoro Secret Rare, Borsalino SP card, Nami's Alternate Art card, and the Buggy SP card. So in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll be real with you. This is probably best case scenario nearly best case scenario when it comes to booster boxes of op06 um just considering the hit rates i've seen so far and what i've seen from people who have just two hits per booster box so i think i got very very lucky here i fully expected this video to be a troll video and me pulling absolutely nothing but i actually did really really well now once again in terms of a play set i still need I think I just need one more Zoro and two more Sanjus, two more Sanjus. Once again, I have to I have to see what I have. But I think I do want to play, ladies and gentlemen, um, the green, blue Sanji Zoro leaders. It's a really fun leader to play. And I think there's a lot of, like, fun things you can do with that deck. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy the video, remember to like the video, comment down below, and remember to subscribe and let me know down in the comments what was your favorite hit from today. I'm not going to lie to you. This Zoro, this, no, I'm sorry, this buggy card is absolutely intense, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a really nice card. But I appreciate every single one of y'all. Have a great rest of y'all's day. And hopefully y'all can find some OPO6 in the wild as well. Best of luck to you. I appreciate you. And I'll see y'all next time.